I'm Louise, I'm an early years practitioner and we are here today at Riverside Hall where we do a weekly Stay Play and Learn in Govan. We've worked here for over 19 years welcoming many, many families from the community. The, the group has an immense impact on all the families who always voice how they feel welcomed at the groups, they feel part of the community. It has really helped them bond with others and make new friends. The children are really learning how to socialise with others prior to attending nursery or any early years establishment. So the, the feedback from everyone is like, we, we don't know what we'd do without this group. You know, we welcome on average 20 to 25 families um, a week. We do swap shops to help reduce financial um, issues with families and they can swap for clothes and toys. So there's lots of things. We provide a nice warm welcome with tea and coffee, toast and everyone's welcome. So. We started the, the Swap Shop uh, initiative about six months ago. The families were voicing how they were really struggling financially and we thought, how, we, how could we help? You know, children grow out of clothes so quickly and change onto new toys. So we thought, why don't bring bring some things in, swap it with families. There's no money you know, swapping, there's no pressure for people, uh, no stigma. Everyone was welcome to just bring things in and everyone has went away with bags of clothes, beaming, they've saved some money. You know, they've helped clear some space in somebody's house. You know, it's been uh, a really welcome initiative. Uh, we're, we're now in 2023 and the families are still voicing their concerns about their children uh, mixing with others. Their anxieties about going and mixing with lots of people is still there. And these groups are vital to, to reduce that anxiety for families. The, the children, this is a great opportunity to ease that issue before they start in a nursery where it's noisier. There's lots more people to meet. This is the ideal condition for, for families to come, relaxed atmosphere, and it, it really does reduce any kind of social isolation for families. They've made all these new friends. It has eased them right back in after COVID, so we, we're delighted to offer that for them. We're here once a week. Those families are here in the community every day, and now they're, they're, they're swapping numbers. They've got WhatsApp chats, they're meeting for lunches and coffee, and that for me is really important. I think that the children are at a developmental stage where they need um, more of a challenge. Some families don't have gardens, like don't have that opportunity to go out. There's a lovely big park along Elder Park, but some people just don't use that. This allows us to offer this opportunity for the children to come out and, and learn some physical activity, which is one of our outcomes. We really want children to be able to like exercise every day, 20 minutes an hour every day with their families. It doesn't need to cost a lot going for a walk. Um, anything, just going in, using your outdoor space as much as possible and it allows for the children to explore so it's been really good and there's a garden here the children have been learning today about smells and we've actually got an area where we're doing some planting and some growing with the children um, so it's just it's a great addition and the Riverside Hall have been amazing supporting us with that Hi, I'm Gillian Hi, I'm Joanne and we're both Early Years Practitioners from Early Years Scotland and today we're at BCDC in the north of Glasgow Recently we had a child who attended our service and moved on to the local authority. Um, a couple of weeks ago mum and dad approached us um, to see that the child was struggling um, with the environment and wasn't really settling and asked about the child coming back to us to spend the mornings with us. Myself and Gillian had encouraged mum and dad to come along um, and see if it would help. Mum, mum and dad have both been coming along. They've been bringing the younger sibling along as well and they've been enjoying as a family taking part in the activities we've been providing um, where we're providing play-doh activities, painting activities, loads of different range of activities um, and mum and dad have found this very beneficial for their son um, and now are finding it even more beneficial for both their children to come along and both of them are getting to interact with each other and mum and dad are both getting to interact as well. Mum also has been able to leave the older sibling for an hour and a half um, and take the younger sibling away and spend some quality time with her, um, which has been really good because then we are getting some time with the older sibling within the centre to do different activities, just one-on-one, -on -one, um, and for him to mix with other children as well. Myself and Joanne provide opportunities for the parents. We provide home link bags, which have a wee story, activity and stuff, for the parents to do at home with their children. Also within BCDC, we provide the hour and a half for the parents to go and join in with yoga classes, English classes, 
We also have Glasgow Help who comes into BCDC to help the parents out with anything that they're needing. Um, this can be a great help to the parents that are struggling with housing, struggling with food. We can, we can support them and support them through Glasgow Help so that they are getting the benefit and they're getting anything that they need. We also work with local health visitors who ensure the families in the community are able to come along to the service. If they're needing support to come along, then the health visitors will come along with them and support them. So once they're here, they can get to know us and they feel more comfortable coming along to the group. Susan and I work um, as part of the prison project at Early Years Scotland and today we are in the family visit room at HMP Berlin. Uh, so the father's programme is a 10 week programme. Uh, we cover things like attachment, brain development, why it's important to stay connected. Um, we also talk about promoting positive behaviour. Um, and then we've got the other side of it, which is the learning together through play sessions. Yeah. So um, as part of the programme, we do like a lot around health and wellbeing. Our focus is always the child. Um, so we, we're taught when we talk through the programme with the dads, um, we are always thinking about what is best for the children. Um, it's a discussion based programme. So we want the dads to engage um, and chat to us. It's not about us telling them mm. how to be a dad or what to do. It's about giving them information and then taking from that and learning from that and learning from each other. And I think that's the most important. Sorry, I was going to say that they share experiences with each other and sometimes hearing it from their peers um, can maybe sink in more so than coming from us, yeah. I wonder sometimes. Yeah. Um, We've uh, recently just added in a, a cooking mm. session which has been incredibly beneficial yeah. for the dads because they can now learn simple recipes um, and they can, they can make that, they spend time in the kitchen with us and a member of the independent living team and we, we teach them how to make macaroni cheese and lentil soup and then that's something they can take with them yeah. when they leave. And we also talk about the benefits of cooking with your child. Um, and also risk assessment and things that sometimes things that people haven't considered um, and also making it as fun as possible. So we also have a six week block for baby massage so the babies are six weeks to, to crawling mm -hmm. um, and that can be really rewarding. Um, some of the dads I've worked with were in custody when their baby was born so they hadn't actually had that opportunity for you know skin to skin contact um, and I think it's, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. um, session. It's just, with baby massage, you're, you're able to sit down on the floor, so dads are there, the baby's right in front of them. It might be the first time they've had the opportunity to take the baby's clothes off and dress mm -hmm. them afterwards. All those little things that maybe you wouldn't think about. Um, and then they're making that eye contact because they're right down looking at their little ones and it it's a really lovely session. Nice. Um, we also offer baby sensory, mm -hmm. so maybe families that have engaged in the baby massage before, we run in blocks, um, so we might then progress on to baby sensory, so it gives the sort of older children a wee bit of a chance mm -hmm. to come in, um, and these families that have done baby massage can also join mm -hmm. it. So we set up activities um, that will promote sensory awareness, and um, the, the families really love engaging in that. Um, and Susan and I both um, help with storybook dads, mm -hmm. which um, the family contact officers um, run, um, but we're there to assist the dads, so we might help them choose a book that's age appropriate, and then we'll go through and film them reading that story, give them any guidance, and then once that's complete, the family contact officers will send that away and the families will get a copy of a, a DVD with Dad reading a, a yeah. bedtime story.